Hey guys, time to do my tactical insertion tutorial. Yes, there's an anagram in there. I'll let you figure that out, but uh, giggity, if that gives you a little bit of a hint. And I think anagram's the word, but uh, yeah. I'm not very smart, so I could be wrong. Anyway, just a quick guide how to use a tactical insertion effectively. And first thing, very basic, you spawn the direction you or facing when you place it. Now, as far as I know, that's common knowledge, but uh, I still come across enemies who uh, I kill, I see their attack insertion, and I watch them spawn facing a wall, and it's the easiest thing in the world to kill them, so they die twice because they're idiots. So I don't want you to make that mistake. That's the easiest thing in the world to fix, so don't do it. Second is at least Put a tactical insertion in a corner or something. Keep it out of sight as best you can. Here's another huge problem I see. People put down their tactical insertions and lay down on top of them. That's two free kills right there. You kill him, he's going to respawn right there. Not in a corner anywhere. I mean, just right there. I mean, sometimes you do find a guy's tactical insertion and that's still a free kill but don't make it easy for him now there are a couple uses for tactical insertions one is say on an objective map kind of putting it next to the objective that way you can keep spawning there over and over you know because it would, it would suck to have this happen where you're running across the map you die I you know, you're probably not going to jump off like I did. You're going to... Something else will happen. And then you're all the way back here, and you're like, well, damn. Now I have to run all the way back. So attack insertions are pretty good. Now, like I said, you're, you want to keep it out of sight. So uh, down here is a pretty good spot. And if you want... I, I hate to say this. If you want to find a good spot, go watch Sandy Ravage's Booster Hunter videos. Because while boosters are the scum of the earth... Their spots where they go to the tactical insertions are pretty decent spots because they do it because no one looks there. So, I mean, their idiocy can be your salvation in tactical insertions. Now, another thing that it sometimes works, it's you have to be a little more careful of when you're using these, but right behind the enemy spawn, and I mean right behind it, just come in here, and put it down. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you spawned and just turned around to see if there was an enemy? Exactly. You just run straight ahead. Now, the only problem with this is the tactical insertions are not soundless. They do make little crackling noises. Generally, people aren't paying attention that much when they first respawn. So, they'll miss it. But it's there, and that's something you need to be aware of. Now, another use of the tactical insertion is, say, for snipers or whatever reason you're doing it, you're going up to a hard-to-get-to spot, like this roof up here, because, you know, you're a wide-open target the whole time, so uh, it would really suck to die and have to do it again. S so, you want to get the tack insertion up there. Now... I'm going to use this roof as an example. There's other places that can also be said. But on this roof, there's a good strategy to do. Is to put it, the attack insertion on the edge. Blow up this thing. I mean, don't stand right next to it like I do. You can move out of the way. And then, when you respawn, put the attack insertion near the middle. Because you don't want the tactical insertion near the edge. Because it's even easier to grenade so you don't want them to be able to do that now using tactical insertions I do it a lot to sneak around say on derail get behind their spawn run a cold blooded ninja stealth kit and if they kill me spawn right behind them and keep doing it and that's all well and good but sometimes when you're doing that you want to get there as fast as possible so Something you can do is set up a kit like this, Marathon, Lightweight, 
and have that kit with your tactical insertion. And then at the very beginning of the game, get to where you want to put your tactical insertion as fast as you can. Because it's the beginning of the game. They're not going to have a UAV. You could have your weapon be silent, so you're not going to show up. And, you know, that way you get your tactical insertion down right when you place it, instantly switch classes to your stealth kit, and there you go. And there's your tack insertions. Have a nice day.